to my channel. Today I am going to share with you an interesting topic on nanophotonics. So through this video I am going to share some of the very basic information about what is nanophotonics and how nanophotonics can impact our world and some of the uh, photonic nanomaterials and its applications. So let's start. Basically, nanophotonics uh, is the study of understanding and engineering light at very very small scale, or we can call we can tell it nanometer scale. So uh, through the nanophotonics, one can understand how these photons behave on nanoscales. We can start controlling and manipulating their interactions. So which gave which gave an ingenious inventions such as better way for cancer imaging or other bioimaging or a potential solution for room temperature quantum computers. Okay. Next, uh, how nanophotons can impact our world. So nanophotonic uh, nanotechnology optoelectronics and photonics are expected to make a significant impact on the way we see our current world. So nanophotonics are born out of some combinations of three major sciences, uh, um, photonics, nanotechnology and optoelectronics. So why photonics and optoelectronics have revolutionized the electronics and semiconductor market Nanotechnology has the greatest potential for further improvement and hence emerged as a most sought after technology by big companies and research laboratories. Nanophotonics is expected to make it to the manifest market owing to the its higher power efficiency, thermal resistivity and operational life. Okay. Like this way, the uh, nanophotonics can impact our world. Next, photonic nanomaterials. Photonics and plasmonic nanomaterials are the nanomaterials whose interaction with photons result in electronic excitation and in charge or energy transfer. So they find a large number of applications in chemical sensing, optoelectronics, catalysis, conduct information processing, photovoltaic and other applications. So commonly used for photonic nanomaterials are condom dots, plasmonic nanomaterial, bimetallic nanomaterial, hybrid nanomaterial and binary semiconductor nanoparticles. So these are the uh, commonly used nanomaterial in the photonics. So because of the, it's, uh, each material have its own physiochemical property. So um, uh, due to that property, which are uh, applied in different applications. So uh, that we will discuss. So first one is uh, quantum dots. So quantum dots, we all know that it's a semiconductor nanoparticle uh, which shows size dependent light emission emission due to its quantum confinement effect. So because of this property, which is used in uh, LEDs, uh, displays, photo detectors and medical image. So in the picture we can see quantum dots with a different size which emit a different wavelength of light okay another one is um, metanoparticles so this metallic nanoparticle shows plasmodes resonance absorption so that is used in the effective light coupling of solar cells or surface enhanced diamond scatter and another one application is um, bioimaging we can use this plasmodic nano particles. Next is uh, bimetallic nanoparticle. The photo excitation of the bimetallic nanoparticle is used in the catalysis of hydrogen or oxygen evolution reaction or in the degradation of water condensates. 
that's also one of the uh, important application of bimetallic nanoparticle another is non stoichiometric binary semiconductor nanoparticles which can be uh, which can produce wavelength controllable defect related luminescence so the due to this uh, property it's also widely used in uh, nano photonics another one uh, uh, nano uh, photonics material is hybrid nano structure so the nano structure which consisting of graphene and plasmodic nanoparticle which can be used for photocatalysis or uh, dye degradation so the this is also one of the application of a nano photonic material and the one hybrid another application is hybrid which consists of plasmodic nano nanoparticles and metal oxide nanoparticle nanoplates that we used as that we can use as a chemical sensor so these are the uh, some basic uh, information about uh, nano photonic material and its applications so what in this video i hope you may gain some basics about nano photonics if you like this tutorial please share with your contacts and friends thank you